you know, the Valley Temple, yep, they would ship the stones from Aswan and it'd be like three months of the year it would flood enough where you can get a boat in. I mean, I've seen pictures. There are pictures of when that flood happened before they built the dam and stopped that process. And it's in some years, it's a puddle. Like, it's there's not... I mean, you're talking about b- boats that were carrying hundreds of tonnes of granite. And only in a three-month period of year can you get them in there. There's many... There would have been many years where there's not even remotely enough water to get it anywhere near the Valley Temple. I don't think they even use boats. Oh, no, I know. I, I don't either. I mean, It sounds crazy to say, but I think they had a technology that we haven't even begun to... I, mess with yet. I, I, the logistical achievements of the ancient Egypt, of, of what is represented in ancient Egypt, is nothing you can see anywhere. I mean, there's Baalbek, and then there's to me, the best example is the statue at Tanis. There's a statue, I mean, there's several of these thousand plus ton statues. A ho- like half a dozen of them, you get remnants of them, but there was one that was at Tan- that was moved a thousand kilometers. Like... <laughs> A thousand kilometers, and it would have been—it was a single-piece granite statue, easily a thousand tons. 